Hi, I'm Mac McCarthy, and I help people with their breakups. Let me know if you like it. I'm going to do some more stuff like this. If you are going through a breakup right now, go ahead and visit writemac.com, W-R-I-T-E-M-A-C.com. Send your story, and I can give you my take on that. Otherwise, have a good one. What if a psychic told you your ex was coming back? What would you do? Would you say, would you assume it was true? And I think the question's a good one because if you don't believe the psychic, you probably don't believe the ex is coming back. That's a little bit of clarity. I think that if you do believe the psychic, are you being honest with yourself? I suppose you'd have to have some confidence in some other things that the psychic told you or feel some kind of intuitive intuition uh, that this was actually really going to happen. And I've mentioned this before. When I was in a breakup, I went to a few different people and no one ever told me my ex was going to come back. But the question did come up, right? I'm laughing about it now. But at the moment, it was one of those things like the lady was, she doesn't call herself a psychic, but like a spiritual healer. But she said some things about myself uh, future wise. And in the moment that I was like, wow, how'd you know that? Um, but they weren't detailed. Saying that, though, one of the things that resonated when we were talking, as I, you know, I'm talking to her, and I'm like, "Do you think that you think my ex is going to come back after I told her all the issues and all the problems?" And she goes, "Well, not anytime soon." And I thought to myself, "Well, that's a fucking great answer, right? See, it's not a direct answer; it's not for sure, but I kind of like the idea that the window's open that it, you didn't say, "Oh, never," right? And actually, I answer people that sometimes because. If the relationship was good, you got along good, and there was more good times than bad times, um, you truly loved each other, you're a good person for the most part, you might have made some mistakes, or they might have made some mistakes, or they might have had an identity change. Uh, once the smoke clears, some people can realize, wait a minute, what did I do? And the only way that works is if there was a relationship that was more good than bad. Um, and so when she said that to my, myself, I believed it. I went, you know what? If if my ex was going to ever come back, it wasn't going to be any time soon. It wasn't going to be that day, tomorrow, the next day. Um, and so I, I truly believed that at the time. And it's a really nice way to look at things when you have a lot of issues at the end of your breakup, a lot of emotions um, that you can't just erase. You know, if you, you had a lot of turmoil, you had a lot of things said, you had a lot of problems leading up to the breakup, which is what happens. It's not usually just one thing. It's a few things. And it's rarely a case where you just, you know, oh, it was a smooth breakup. We both understood each other. It happens sometimes that way, but it's not common. I mean, that's more common in a long distance breakup. Uh, but the, the answer that you can go with for a lot of you is that, well, if they are going to come back or we are going to get back together, it's probably not going to be anytime soon. And I wouldn't even say probably because if you did get back together out of a knee jerk reaction, out of loneliness, out of pity, you're still not going to erase the fact that two weeks earlier you got in a bad argument. You said some really mean things. And in those two weeks, you were apart. You broke the rope, I call it. And once you, once you kind of go through with breaking up officially, it's really hard, especially if you've been together for years, to just go, okay, let's just get back together. Because if you had a good, meaningful, loving relationship, it was hard for whoever chose to do the breakup. Whoever chose to go through with it, it was hard. So they're not just going to go back on that. It's going to take at least a month, two months, three months for the smoke to clear and for them to realize uh, maybe this was a bad decision. Maybe we can rework this. Maybe we have more things in common than I thought. You know, I really missed you. But the general answer that a good psychic might give you is, well, they're not going to come back anytime soon. I mean, it could be in the future, but not anytime, any, anytime in the near future. Because a majority of breakups, that'll be the case. And I'll tell you, I'll take it a step further. A majority of the people that reunite with their ex that I've come across, still a strong possibility that it won't work out because you didn't really fix the problem. And there's still a lot of smoke in that real view mirror that you're going to bring up anytime you see fit, anytime you want to get a little, 
nudge in when you want to say, well, you know what you did to me when we broke up? And you're like, she's like six months later. She's like, what the fuck? I thought we already forgave me for that. No, I want to get this one in. You know what you did to me? You know, then it's not going to work, right? I mean, because I've heard people that say, oh, our relationship was so great. It was so wonderful. The word perfect comes up a lot. Uh, it was perfect. We never fought until you did, until you became humans, until you realized, wait a minute, uh, there's some things I don't agree with. You're gonna, if you're going to be in a real relationship, there's going to be disagreements. And then you're going to have to negotiate and you're going to figure out what you give in and what you don't give in. And, and that's just fine. But this idea that, you know, it's going to be rose petals and wine glasses forever, peaches and cream, that's just bullshit. And that's actually not really a real relationship because at some point the hammer is going to drop. You're going to lose your job. You're going to have a family member that gets ill. You're going to have um, money issues. Uh, all kinds of things happen in life and that affects your relationships. And that's when you really see people's true colors, right? We've all had gut feelings. We've all had moments where we went, how did I know that? But you didn't tell anyone. I remember when I was about, I don't know, six, seven years old and I got a call. My mom calls on the phone and I, I swear to God, I don't know how I, I don't know how I felt this. And my mom just goes, let me talk to dad. And I, I just knew immediately mom was just in an accident. Now, full disclosure, my mom wasn't in a bad accident. It wasn't, you know, she didn't get hurt. It wasn't anything, you know, the car wasn't even that messed up, but she was in an accident. And right when she said that, I was like, mom was just in an accident. I don't know how I knew that. I don't know how I knew that. And I gave the phone to my mom. My dad goes, where are you right now? I'll come get you. What the fuck? Oh, who the fuck was it? Da -da 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 -da. I'm like, in my head, I just knew. I didn't share that with anyone. And like I said, my mom was okay. Um, it was a, you know, it was a red light thing, something, something. Uh, but we all have those kind of moments that you wonder. And to take it a step further, they say that, how does the internet work with transferring information? Um, I think that psychics have a better ability probably of telling you who you are character wise uh, than actually predicting someone else coming back to you. Cause that would be a totally different person. If psychics were good at what they do, I would think that they would need you to be in their energy space, to be in their realm. And for them to predict something about another individual that they'd never met before, it seems like that would be more difficult. But give me your take on this. I mean, full disclosure, I've had moments where I'm not a psychic, okay, but where I'm talking to people in a live coaching session and for some reason I know something that they're going to say already. It's kind of weird. I think that has to do with you know, re really connected with people because I had a great aunt and uncle, my mom's aunt and uncle, and... They lived in a uh, hippie area. They lived in Santa Cruz in the Santa Cruz Mountains before the Santa Cruz Mountains became really expensive. Anyhow, they moved there. They wanted a better life for their kids. Their kids grew up in the 60s. The son, I've never met before, but uh, he was a quote unquote real hippie and got shot by a drug dealer. And um, my mom said that my great aunt, who wasn't a woo woo person, you know, like a uh, all that kind of stuff said literally in the middle of the night, she had this dream where she was seeing her son, not necessarily uh, killed, but there was a sign early in the morning to her that something had happened. And people have those kind of things happen all the time. We can go on for days and people just don't share them. Right. It's like when that thing came up about my mom and the accident, I went, I didn't tell anyone in my family, but talking to people through FaceTime, or even when I've talked to people uh, with audio only, because some people like to talk audio only, they don't want to use the video for whatever reason. Uh, certain statements, and I'm not saying certain statements will give me a tingle down the spine. And it's just me feeling what they're saying. And someone might go, oh, come on. I'm have you gotten goosebumps before or has someone said something? If you're intently listening to someone and you're in rapport, you're in full rapport with someone, then you literally can take on some of their feelings that they're feeling in the moment. I believe that to be true. And that's a therapist or a coach at their best when they're able to do that.